This is Gemara Baba Kama Daf Sadi Zayin. And we're holding on the bottom of Sadi Hea Medbez. We're approximately eight lines from the bottom. Omar Le Ravino Le Ravashi. And we go back to the original din of Shmuel. The din of Shmuel that Shmuel taught us that Shleisha Shamin Lehem Shevach Umaylin Aysam Bidavin. The three of them we evaluate and then. They pay with it with cash. Asks Ravina to Ravashi, Really? Did Shmuel really say that a Balchai gives the purchaser the Shvach, that which it went up in value? What's the Kasha? But Shmuel has taught us. The Balchai collects the Shvach from the Lekuchais, and it doesn't go back to the purchaser at all. So why are you telling me that the Baal Chayiv has to give back to the Lekeach, the Shavach, the, the increase in value of the item? But we have a Beferish member of Shmuel, and what Shmuel is teaching us, that the Baal Chayiv collects the Shavach and doesn't pay anything back. Omar Lei, Suravashi responds to Ravina Loi Kasho. When Shmuel said that the Baal Chayiv does not get back the Shavach, is where the Shavach let Megiyah l'chsafim. What does that mean? Shavach let Megiyah l'chsafim. That is that which grew due to the fact that the purchaser did everything and he could take it off and keep it to himself. Whereas Khan, when Shmuel said that the Baal Chayv does get the Shavach, is with, mal, with that which is Ein Magia Lechsafim, meaning it's more intrinsic to the field. So two different types of Shavach, and that's how the Gemara is going to answer up the stira, whether it indeed goes back to the Lekeach, or not. So Omar Lay, Ravina responds, two lines to the bottom on Sadiha Midbeis. Va Maisim Bikal Yoim Bikal Magvi Shmuel Afilu Sheva Khamagia Lichsafim. What do you mean? asks Ravina. There are regular stories daily that Shmuel indeed allows the collection even of the Shavach. That's Magia Lichtafim. Even the Shavach that is fully ripened is fully able to be picked. And even that, Shmuel allows the Baal Chayv to collect. Amar Lei, Ravashi responds, Loi Kasha. Whoop, excuse me. As we turn over to Sadi Zayin Amar Aleph, Ha Demaskele Kishir Ara Vishvacha, Ha Deloi Maskele Ela Kishir Ara. Says the difference that when does Shmuel allow the collection is where the Baal Chayv is owed the amount of the Ara, the land. And the Shvach, meaning if there's a larger debt, then the Baal Chayv collects everything. But where the Baal Chayv is only a, a, owed the land itself, then the Lekeach will be able to get back that which he was Mashbiach, that which he bettered the land. Amar lei responds Ravina, but this is a machloi guest extensively in Bamitzia. Ho nichleman dami yesle zuzi lo keach lo matim misalik le bal chayv. I understand according to the opinion that holds that if the lo keach has cash, he's still not able to give it to the bal chayv. Meaning the bal chayv is allowed it always has rights to the land straight. Then I understand Shapir. Five lines down, but according to the opinion that says that if the Lokeach has money, excuse me, so then, let the Lokeach say to him, if I would have had cash, I would have given you cash and you get nothing. So Hashda now at least Havli Girva Dara Shir Shvachai. 
So then the Lokech should be able to say, at least give me the piece of the land that was equal to my improvements. Meaning, Lokech Katayna, and this again, as we mentioned, is going to be a large discussion. Mir Tzashem Ibab Metziah. But Lokech could say, if I had cash, I'd give you cash and you would get nothing of the land. So you know what? Give me a part of the land which is equal to the improvements. Again, this purchaser invested in making this land better. So he's saying, at least give me that. Omar Lei, Ravashi responds, Hacha b'maya Four lines from the white lines, Kigoyin, Dishavion, Nihalei, Aboitiki, Omar Lei, Loi Lecha Parayin, Elamizu. Says Ravashi, no, this case is different. We're talking about a case where this field was an apoitiki in which he said that your collection is fully from here. And that is the reason why, that is the reason why Lamaisa, he doesn't have to give anything back to the loikeach. Continues the Gemara, so that was a loikeach, that was mashbiach, the land. Continues the Gemara in the similar vein, the same thing of Shmuel applied to a gazlon. Says the Gemara, two lines from the white lines, Amai Rava, Kazavishmiach. Someone stole land and then he made it better. Umachar, and he sells it to someone else. Or, Kazavishmiach, Vahirish. Someone steals a piece of land, he makes it better and then he bequeaths it, he gives it to a child. The purchaser gets, the child gets all the enhancements. And if the one that had this field stolen from him, if he wants to get it back, he has to give the lokeach, he has to give the yairish, that which they put into this land to make it a better piece of field. So again, Ruvain steals a piece of land from Shimon. Ruvain makes it better and sells it to Levi. When Shimon comes to Levi to collect that land, he has to give Levi, who's like Keach, the value that the land was. Mash Biach. Says the Gemara, Ba'i Rava. On the first white line, Rava has a Shiloh. Hishbiach loikeach mahu. We're talking about where the gazlan is mishbiach. What if the purchaser did? Basa devai, after he asked it, Adar Pashta, he answered, What is sold from A to B is all the schosim that A had. Therefore, just like the mashbiach in the hands of the gazlan, he would have to pay back so too. If it was better than the hands of the loikeach. Ba'i ravam. Rava continues with another shayla. Heshbiach akum mahu. What is the story if the akum made the item better? Amrle Ravachim idefti le Ravina says Ravachim idefti to Ravina tekanta la akum. As Ravachim idefti to Ravina, do we make a takana for an akum niki v'nevad? Is there ever such a thing that we're making a takana that the guy should get back to that which he bettered the land? Amr le Ravina respond loitz shricha. No, it's that the guy made it better, then he sold it to the Yid. Meaning, so the Yid purchased the field that was bettered, then finds out that it's stolen, has to return it back to the original owner. So does this Yid, like get back that portion of the field? Says the Gemara, save saif, above machmas akum, hareyuk akum. Says the Gemara again, but at the end of the day, Someone who got an item from a guy is like the guy. Why? Because Ma Macharisha and the Shani, what is Ruvain sell to Shimi? And therefore, normally that helps you. But in this case, it's going to not help you because the Akum is has no rights. Um, excuse me, because the Akum has no rights. It doesn't there's no taikana for the Akum. Answers the Gemara like Srika. The case is called the Gaza Yisrael. The case is where a Yid stole the item. He sold it to a guy. The guy made it better. And then the guy went, Vahadar Akum, Vizavna Yisrael. So, my, how do we view this case? It's three people, Yid, 
Kayid. Me, I'm reading Kivdi Meikari Yisrael, Vadi Yisrael. Avdi Rabban and Taikante. It started by a Jew, ended by a Jew, so there'll be a Tekan Adilma. Kivdi Kakobam, so there's a guy in the middle of the Rabban and Taikante. Says the Gemara, Gavaldi Kikasha. Take who we have to wait for, Leo and Navi, for this one. Amar Rav Papa. Continues the Gemara, 12 lines from the bottom, diving backwards into the Mishnah. What did the Mishnah teach us? If one is Gazal eats him and creates a keli out of it, the one who stole the item, one who stole the item has makne, is kaina, excuse me, the item. So the big question is, what is called changing the item? So Amir Rabbah, Haiman the Gazal Dikla Mechavre, so and stole a palm tree, Vikale, and he cut it down. Even though he moved it from one piece of land to another piece of land. Like Kani, there's no Kenyan. By cutting down the tree and moving its location is not a Kenyan. My time. It is a day tree. Nothing changed. But if you saw a Dekel tree and he cut into logs, also, Lakani, Ashtami, Eskava, Didikli, Mikri. It's still called the log of a Dekel, so it's not called a change to effect a Kenyan. But, Guvi, Vavdin, and Kishurav, so stole logs and made them into beams, then Kani. Why? Because it's called now a beam. Kishuri, if so and stole a beam, Rav Ravi, Vavdin, and Kishuri, Zutri. He stole a large beam and he cut it down into a small beam like honey. Why? Because it's still the same beam, just big or large. Avdinu kutsutsaitsa kani. But if he made them into boards, then he's kind of, as we're seeing, it's a bit of a name game over here. The change to the item has the effect that it's considered a different item. Oh my Rav, oh, Rav continues on this theme. I am the gazel luliva. So and so a lulav a, a, a lulav branch, a palm branch. Rav didn't know hutsi, and he made into it hutsi, meaning he removed all the leaves, and now it's a different item. Kani to make her lulava make rivash to hutsi again. It started as a lulav, and now it is a hutsi. On the flip side, Hutsi, it's not the flip side, Hutsi, if I've done a if he stole a Hutsi leaves and he made him into a broom, Kani make her Hutsi, Vashta, Chufayo. Chufayo, if he stole a broom, Vavdi, Sharshura. If he stole a broom and he made it into a rope, like Kani, why not? My time, Because if you take this rope and you could unravel it and it goes back to being a broom. So you need a name change, which you're seeing right now, and it has to be a permanent one, not that it could just be undone and revert back, back to what it was. So two lines from the bottom, Bayi Rav Papa asks Rav Papa the following, Shailah, What is the halacha if the tiyaymes, the spine, the central leaf of your lulav, became split in half? Is that considered a change to be kind of the item? So Tashimad Amarav Mosan Amrav Yeshua ben Levi, Nalati Aimes, Pasal, the Lulav becomes Vasal. So now says the Gemara as we turn over to Sadi Vav Amid Beis, my love, who had din lenech lika. Seemingly it's the same din when it becomes not nifsika, the case would be nitla, excuse me, not that it was removed, but nechlika was split. It makes the Lulav Pasal. And it just like it makes the Lulav apostle uh, suggest the Gemara right now, so too it should create a Kenyan in the hands of the Gazlan. As Rashi in the top Rashi says, since with regarding to apostle, it makes the apostle in your Maknanami, which we call the Shinoi, and your Kaina answers the Gemara like, not la shiny. If the spine is fully removed, it's different. The chasar lay, because now the lulav is lacking, whereas if it was just split, maybe not. Ike di Amri, another lush, it says, Gemara Tashmadam, Rav Mosan, Rav Shub, and Levi, three lines down, said the above and base, Nechluka, Tiyaymes, and what happens if it splits? Nasa Kamisha, Natla. It's like we took it away. Upasal, Shmami Na, says the Gemara from here, Raya is that you're kind of the item, and it is considered a change. Amar Rav Papa. Four lines down says, Rabba, Bahimande, Gazalafra. 
Says Rav Papa, someone stole dirt mechavre from his friend Vavde Levinta, and from the dirt, what he do? He made bricks. Says Rav Papa, like Kani, six lines down. My taima, the other masli afra, because the dirt, the brick, could crumble back into earth. Levinta, on a similar vein, if someone stole a brick, Vavde Afra made into dirt. Kani, then he is kinda. My What's the reason? What's the reason over here, my Amri? Tell Mahadur Vavle Levinto, what are you worried about? He might take this dirt and recreate the brick. Hi Levinta, Achri to you. It's a different brick. The fact that you take dirt and make a brick each time is its own creation. So ironically, not ironic, but that's just Allah. So the first creation of the brick is nothing. Why? Because it just crumbled back. But if you took a brick and you crumbled it, then it's yes, a Kenyan. Why? Because to put it back would be a totally new item. Continues, Rav Papa, Va'amar Rav Papa, ten lines down, Haiman de Gazal Nascha Mechavre. Someone stole a bar, a, a bar of silver from his friend, Vavi Zuzi, and he made coins out of it. Like, honey, my time, I'll have it Nascha. Go back to the bar of silver. But if he stole Zuzi, Vavin the Nascha, Mamish, the same thing. Kani, my Amrit, Hadar, Avale, Zuzi, you're afraid he's going to go back and make any coins. Panu Chadashais, Pau Lekan. Continues, Rabba, one last case. Shchimi, Vavdinu Chadati. If you stole black coins, Vavinu Chadati, and you made them new by cleaning them, like Kani, you didn't do anything. But Chadati, new ones, Vavinu Shchimi, made them black. Kani, my. Amir, what are you worried about? All the chadzi, you make them new again. Made the idea shechaimu. You already see that they're black, and therefore you're never going to be able to make it mamish as if it is new. And we continue seven lines from the white lines, as the Gemara says, Zehaklal, quoting the Mishnah that what is the general rule? Kol agazlanim mishalmin kishas gazela. And in classical sense, the Gemara wants to know what is this extra rule? Coming to include, says the Gemara Zakla Lasuye Mai. Seemingly, Lasuye Adam Ravala Ganav Tlevin Asayo. If someone stole a lamb and in the Gazlan possession, it matures into a ram or the flip. Eagle, no, not the flip. Similarly, eagle, you saw a calf, Vanessa Shar becomes an ox. Nasa Shini Biyadoi. That's called a Shinoi Vikanoi. And through that Shinoi, there is a Kinyan. Tavachu Machar. What happens if he then goes slaughters or sells it? Shalayu Taveya, Shalayu Machar, because there's a Kinyan and it's considered his. Says the Gemara a story, two lines on the white lines that Ugavar the Gazal Padna de Turi Mechavre. He stole a Padna, which is a pair of a certain type of oxen. Azal Karabu Karba. He went and he plowed his field, Zarabu Zaram, and he planted seeds with them. And then Lesaif at the end, Ajun Lamar, he returns to its owner. Go and see him. The amount in which the land was bettered during the time that he had these oxen, and that is the amount that the that the Goslin has to pay. Hamle Rava Turi Ashbach Arloy Ashbach said, Rava, I don't understand. You're telling me were the oxen the sole ingredient to make this land better? The land also was. So why does he have to pay for the whole betterment? Amar mi kamina neshay mi kulei pal yul kamina. You're right, I'm in half. Amar lei saif says gzelo. Kaji beheni. What do you mean? You stole any return it beheni. It's an anikol v'zanam shalom 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 gzelo. Amar lei loy amina l'chaki asino bedina loy teim li midi da amar huna chavrin. Did I not tell you that when I'm sitting and dining, don't tell me anything, don't ask my questions, don't say something that huna our friend said. Loy ana v'shavar malka. Achi bedine hayinish gazlana atik o o baina de akdese. Let me explain to you what's going on. This guy, he's a seasoned veteran. He's a gazlan that's been stealing too long, and therefore it's a special kenas. So you might be right, but Edsem. However, says Rav Nachman, this guy was deserving of a higher level of payment. And we continue with the Mishnah, halfway down the wide lines. 
on the Sadivaz Sadiva of Amr Vais. Gazal Behem of his kin and came old of one of his kin and Shamish as like Zela. Rabbi Meir Aimer, Pavadim, Armillary Shalafanek. Case two, Gazal Matbe a coin in its second and crack papers. We keep it a rat in the eye in Vichum, it's the wine soured. Mishamish as like Zela. Matbea Vinifsal, Truma Vinitmes. Chameit v'arvulava pesach v'heima v'nis avdu ba'aveira oi shenifzal mel mizbeach for another reason keep possible the carbon oi shaisa yaitzel yisakol is going to be starting to emer lai harei shalcha lifa nechma so says the Gemara let's begin with the first din of the Mishnah that an animal that is iskina your mishalman is kshas like zela amar rapapa says rapapa what did the Mishnah mean. When it said the animal turned old, doesn't mean it's literally old. Even if it just turned weak, still you pay the. It's considered that the. It's considered that the ganof acquires it has a kinyan, and he got to go back and pay b'shasa gazela. Ask the gemara on his kina tenan. What do you mean? The mishnah said his kina. Answers the Gemara, Kachasha Kigainis Kina, which is the other bar, he's not going to get healthy again. Amar Le, Mark Shisha, Braider of Chista, the Ravashi, Achi, Kamar, Mishmeid, Rav Yechon, Afilukon, Avtlev, and Asayel, Egom, and Asashar, Nasashina, Biyadai, Vekanai, Kavachumacher, Slayer, Tavech, Slayer, Mach, Amar Le, Lava, Minolachal, or Tachlev, Gavri, Ahu, Mishmeid, Rav Eloyet, Mar, get your names right, you have the right thing, but that was said in the name of Rav Ila. And we conclude today, just beginning the din of Rameir. Rameir Aimer teaches Rameir Bavodim Armila Rishal Khalifanech Omar of Khanina Baravdimi Omar Halacha Kirameir. The halacha is like Rab Meir. I just lost my place. Halacha Kirameir. The Rav Shavik Rabbanon asked the Gemara of Rav Shavik Rabbanon Vavik Rameir. What's going on over here? Amri, they responded, yes. Misham de Braisa ev Chatani. Rav Shem Maslisa of the Kabraisa, Shkoyach the Braisa is the other way. So Rav is going to paskin like a Braisa over a Mishnah, says the Gemara, Rav Masnisa Nami ev Chatani. Rav had the Mishnah the other way, and that is the reason why Rav paskin to like that Mishnah. So says the Gemara, my time, oh, the Rav, the Abuch Masnisa, the Machmi Braisa. If we have a, a stira, so switch the brace. So why are you switching the Mishnah? Says the Gemara Amri Rav Nami Masnisa and Ibcha Asnuye. The Mishnah was also the other way. Terrace number one, Terrace number two, Viva Sim Kla Eba Chada Makmi Chada. Chada Makmi Trey. If you switch on one for the two sources, the Tanya Machal Farba Chamar Vialda, Vachena Machal Shachasa Vialda, Zamar Vishus Yalda, Vahala Shaysa Exalz Chabai. Zamar any idea? Zamar any idea? Yach laiku. Zamar, you know, true. There's this this raya that we're up two and one for two. We'll leave. We'll pick up from here in the next year of siyata dishmayu.